Good morning, friends, and welcome to Monday, June 22nd. And our opening number is by Barb Baker. Our devotion is from the Upper Room Disciplines this week by Bruce Birch. The scripture reading is Genesis 22, 1 to 14. And after these things, God tested Abraham and said to him, Abraham, and he said, here I am. And he said, take your son, your only son, Isaac, whom you love, and go to the land of Moriah and offer him there as a burnt offering on one of the mountains that I shall show you. So Abraham rose early in the morning, swaddled his donkey, saddled his donkey, and took two of his young men with him and his son Isaac. And he cut the wood for the burnt offering and he set out and went to the place in the distance that God had shown him. On the third day, Abraham looked up and saw the place far away. And then Abraham said to his young men, stay here with the donkey, the boy and I will go over there and we will worship and when we will come back for you. And Abraham took the wood of the burnt offering and laid it on his son Isaac, and he himself carried the fire and the knife, and the two of them walked on together. Isaac said to his father, Abraham, Father? And he said, Here I am, my son. And he said, The fire and the wood are here, but where is the lamb for a burnt offering? And Abraham said, God himself will provide the lamb for a burnt offering, my son. And so the two of them walked on together. And when they came to the place that God had shown him, Abraham built an altar there and laid the wood in order. He bound his son Isaac and laid him on the altar on top of the wood. 
And then Abraham reached out his hand and took the knife to kill his son. But the angel of the Lord called to Abraham and he said, Here I am. And he said, Do not lay your hand on the boy or do anything to him. For now I know that you fear God, since you have not withheld your son, your only son, from me. And Abraham looked up and saw a ram caught in the thicket by its horns. Abraham went and took the ram and offered it up as a burnt offering instead of his son. So Abraham called that place, the Lord will provide, as it is said to this day, on the mount of the Lord it shall be provided. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Well, this story is one of those most meaningful and challenging stories in the Bible. It's been pondered by theologians and rabbis and pastors and artists. Throughout this rich tradition, Jewish interpretations often emphasize Abraham, while Christian in interpretations focus on Isaac. For both Jews and Christians, Abraham is presented as righteous, but here in Jew Genesis 23, God tests Abraham's righteousness by summoning him to take his only beloved son to a distant mountain and offer him as sacrifice. Abraham models perfect obedience and has the knife raised when God finally stays his hand and directs him to offer the ram instead. Abraham has trusted in God, and God has not abandoned him. In the long history of persecution that the Jewish community has suffered, such obedience and trust make this story extremely important. What makes this story difficult is in imagining that a loving father could entertain the thought of such a sacrifice or that a loving God would ask it. When we say we cannot imagine this situation, we are not being fully honest. Historically, many parents have allowed their children to be exposed to danger in causes they believed were righteous and in line with God's will. Parents have watched their young men and women go to war to end slavery or to oppose tyrants like Hitler. Whole families have participated in the brutal moments of the civil rights and apartheid struggles. The challenge is to prayerfully discern God's will and to willingly to see the hand that stays the knife. These are matters of obedience, but also of trust that God will aid our discernment and show us paths into the future. Let us pray. O oh Lord, make us attentive to your call and the sacrifices that you may require of us. Grant us the trust and discernment to seek alternate paths into the future that you may open for us. Amen. And now our closing hymn is Faith of Our Fathers. Faith of our fathers living still in spite of dungeon fire and sword oh how our hearts beat high with joy whenever we hear that glorious word Austin for accompanying us this morning. Bless you this day. Go and think on this. In Jesus' name we pray.